nourishment for healthy lifestyle. Gluten free, dairy free, vegan, fiber, protein, it's about as clean as it gets. What is going on and a massive welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on this video. I really appreciate it and holy shit am I excited because today in this video we are trying or well, attempting, <laughs> going to try my best to take on the 10,000 calorie challenge but the clean, the hashtag healthy, the hashtag clean, the clean edition, right, which I see is something that very few people have tried to do or have done on YouTube. Um, I've seen a couple, um, and well, yeah, they're the big dogs of competitive eating, so naturally they'd be able to smash it. But my goal today is to basically be able to consume 10,000 calories worth of what you would deem as clean and healthy food. Now, I've actually done the 10,000 calorie challenge back in New Year's Eve in 2016, and that was something that was pretty fun. I winged it uh, entirely, started the day at about 10.30 in terms of eating, and yeah, I ate uh, a whole range of different food, made a sick big amount of pancakes, had hungry jacks, had connoisseur ice cream, had Nutella, had all sorts of sick YOLO food. Whereas today the goal is to be able to, um, well yeah, take on 10,000 calories at least of um, what you'd classify as clean, healthy, nutritious food, right? So in terms of this, uh, well the day of me actually filming this is uh, as you'll see here, it is Monday the 3rd of June, so it is a public holiday here in WA. Um, so I thought, why not utilize this day to be able to, well, effectively smash this challenge. Now this counts as the second episode of Cheat Yourself. So I've catered and planned for this, I've eaten in a slight deficit, and um, you know, tomorrow I will probably fast most of the day and eat maybe less than a thousand calories, um, maybe at around two to two and a half thousand on, um, uh, Wednesday and then Thursday back into my normal eating preparing for another episode of cheat yourself Which probably won't be a food challenge. It will just be a sick feed. But anyway, really hope that you're pumped for this video um, You've probably seen a 10,000 calorie challenge video before so you understand the rules with this one um, I will be including liquids and all that sort of stuff because the stuff that I'm going to be having is still going to be calorie dense We're talking like um, but yeah, you're gonna see so it's like what's interesting about um, you know, uh, the whole game that is hashtag clean and healthy foods or whatever is that there are a lot that are calorie dense. Um, so obviously when I go about my normal eating and stuff like that, um, I try to eat as much volume of food as possible for the least amount of calories possible so I maximize my calories. Whereas in this sort of sense, it's gonna be opposite. I'm gonna be eating nutrient dense food, but the stuff that I know is calorie dense, so that way I can, yeah, well, not have to eat a shit ton of food, it will still be a lot of food, but hopefully hit that 10,000 mark. So I'm confident, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I really hope I can. <laughs> so it's gonna be a mixture of homemade meals. I will probably try and buy some stuff as well in terms of, um, you know, might go out somewhere for fast food or whatever that still is clean stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, take you guys into the journey. So strap yourself in, and um, obviously in terms of this, there's gonna be some preparing of food. Um, there's gonna be, well, transitions and stuff like that. So fast forward as you will. Would love to have you engaging with this video, so maximize the comment section below, ask questions and stuff like that. And um, hey, obviously give this video a like so we can get it seen by more people. Um, naturally, I don't condone cheat days like this all the time. Um, this is something that, if you look at any of my other videos and stuff like that, I'm all about people just knowing how to utilize calories effectively, um, how to get in like enough protein and fiber and stuff like to stay healthy. So it's like, I haven't done a challenge like this literally in more than two years. Like, um, yeah, so I, it's gonna be interesting to see how I feel. It's gonna be interesting to see whether I can do it. Um, I'm so fucking excited. Um, but now it's time to go to Woolies to get a few bits and bobs to eat my first meal. Um, obviously it's 10.06, so I am starting this quite late. My goal is to try and get this all done before I go to sleep tonight and I'll push back um, the time as to what I go, like what time I go to sleep based on how well I'm doing. So fingers crossed we have a win. Time to go to Woolies, let's get a few gains and um, bring on this 10,000 calorie clean cheat day.
So, Legend, once again, a big welcome back to this video. Really hope you're enjoying the footage so far. So, I thought that's better to make this video, you know, kind of a bit educational while you watch me eat and prepare a kick ass amount of food. Um, I thought it'd be cool to educate you around aspects of the whole realm that is clean eating. Now, um, if you've been a follower of this channel for some time, um, a while back, I think we're talking like a year and a bit back or two years back, I think it might have been. Um, I actually did a video titled Clean Eating is a Fairy Tale. And this is true to this date. Study after study proves that um, you know, clean eating isn't a thing. Like it doesn't actually exist. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be touching on a few different angles of it to help you to understand it better. And um, hopefully as a result of doing so, will help improve your relationship with food also. Because as I said earlier in the video, when it comes to episodes of Cheat Yourself and whatever, um, eating, um, you know, nutrient. <laughs> Nourishment for healthy lifestyle, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, fiber, protein, that's about as clean as it gets. <laughs> Poor food, I'll call it, isn't something that I do um, you know, all the time. Eating massive amounts of calories in one hit or in one day isn't something I do all the time. Like To be able to control how your body looks and feels is something that is a, uh, a really great skill and how that comes or where that comes from is basically learning how to make calories and macronutrients work for you as well as the balance that is quality and quantity work for you as well so that way context and goal you can obviously be um, tailoring the way that your body is headed accordingly now what we're going to kick off with first is basically the fact that is um, clean eating uh, is essentially that it is a scam it is not an actual thing it is a buzzword used by marketers gurus and you know old mate Jim's PT down the road to basically get you to buy their shit so in other words it's a label just like the word functional it's a label just like you know natural um, all these sorts of things shred skinny tone it's a label utilized by clever marketers to get you to go oh yeah cool that's hashtag clean I'll get amongst it I'm gonna get shredded or toned easier and um, if you're in this level of logic, understand that, um, yeah, you're being brainwashed. So be wary of that. That's the first tip around hashtag clean eating. So boys and girls, here we have meal number one, numero uno. It is currently quarter to 12. Still same day, still Monday, still WA day. Hashtag Western Australia spec. So as you would have seen from some of that lovely footage, I am preparing a sweet and a savory meal together to try and get as much calories as possible in one hit. Whether or not I eat all of this in uh, one sitting, I guess we'll see. But um, it is a solid spread, as you can see. So my game plan here, basically, in terms of how I've thought this out, is that I'm gonna be switching between this hot food and the sweet food back and forth in terms of, yeah, that way I don't get flavor fatigue. It also means that it's just a um, good variety of texture and stuff like that. I'm gonna be adding some of this to the sausage rolls. This is made with free range eggs, therefore hashtag clean. Um, the liquid that I'm gonna be adding to this big bowl of um, granola and uh, nuts and stuff, I'm gonna be adding in some uh, light coconut milk um, and uh, I'm gonna be adding in some all natural, nothing artificial, free range cream um, to the mix here. Um, instead of normal milk, obviously a good strategy would be to get in some decent calories. Then we've obviously got, this is the hot meal. This is the, um, the veggio sausage rolls with a heap of avocado. 
And then obviously what I'll be doing is I'll be weighing out some of this. Uh, this is the old Mighty Maple, uh, which you would have seen in a uh, couple of other videos in the past. But um, yeah, boys and girls, so obviously here I'm not going to be recording the whole entire thing because that would just um, make the video go for ages. But we'll rock with some time lapse. You'll hear some voiceover action from me, dropping some knowledge and some insight. Um, and yeah, let's see how we go for this meal. Bring on meal one. And when it came to the calories of, uh, of this meal, obviously you can see it now in terms of my fitness power. Um, that was me hitting all different bits of, well, <laughs> as if I'd eaten the whole meal, so when I edit this later on, I will adjust in terms of how many calories I actually ate. But I'm rest assured that everything will be honestly tracked, weighed um, in my fitness pal. Obviously, if you're following me, you can check it out. Um, Angus Beef Burger is my fitness pal username. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's everything I want to give some insight into. Time to eat, let's get stuck into it in three, two, one, and time lapse. Now the second thing that I want you to understand around hashtag clean eating is that it, as, it, as I touched on before, it brainwashes you, right? And in other words, it conditions your thinking to believe that there's such a thing as good and bad food and you start associating uh, labels towards certain foods and obviously what this then does is it develops a bit of a relationship or a belief system around food that is that there's food that you can and can't have which over time is a huge tendency towards what develops in people uh, what we call binge or emotional eating which is where you are at or where you feel you're at the mercy of food and you have no control around your impulses with it um, and yeah like when it comes to Australians at the moment I believe we're at the stats where it's like 70 or 80 percent of adults are overweight and a massive amount of uh, yeah, like percentage of those people are um, binge eaters as well. So I personally know that like if I reflect on a bit of my eating history and stuff, like the, um, the days that were um, you know, the hardest, if you will, or where I was consistently undoing my progress was when I did used to see food as good or bad. Like I used to have that, um, that whole perception that is like, well, yeah, if it's got sugar, it's bad or if it comes in a jar it's bad like there was all sorts of different levels as I went along the journey in terms of like how I uh, associated food to um, and what hashtag clean eating meant to me but all in all what eventually ended up happening after not too long um, was the reality that is well <laughs> uh, craving what you tell yourself you can't have so in other words I was that dude for some time where um, I couldn't have anything that was like Nutella or ice cream or those sort of foods in the house because literally if I even had like a morsel of it or smelt like the scent of some chocolate, um, I would be like a just, you know, a deprived zombie who just wanted to eat the whole shooting caboodle. So in other words, one of the big things you can do to, well, ensure that you don't become a binge eater is to just see all food as, well, for what it actually is, which is fuel for performance, happiness, vitality, and lifestyle. You cannot afford to associate it to as good or bad because you will more than likely get to the stage where I was, which was craving everything that you tell yourself you can't have. And um, yeah, like definitely you don't want to be on the binge eating path, I'll tell you that. So guys, if you're not following me on social media, make sure that you do, because what I'm gonna do right now is just update my Instafam with uh, exactly what I'm eating for this meal. So in other words, if you follow me on social, you'll see things a lot sooner than what you will on YouTube. 
obviously I'm doing this challenge on a Sunday. The video is probably not going to get uploaded until um, Friday or so. So I'm going to go and update my story now for the old Insta fam. Here we are, Insta fam, with uh, basically the first feed of this 10,000 calorie um, hashtag clean, hashtag vegan, hashtag healthy, hashtag do lift, all the hashtags. So we've already eaten one sausage roll, got another one to go, heap of avocado, gonna try and put away this. And then, um... <coughs> Let the eating continue. Now the third factoid slash insight around old mate hashtag clean eating that makes it so flawed and just pathetic is that it means something different from camp to camp or demographic to camp demographic or person to person. What I mean by that is like if you compare, say for example, vegans, their perception of uh, what is clean would be entirely different to, well, the I Quit Sugar Camp or the Keto Club or bodybuilders, for example, right? So bodybuilders wouldn't classify uh, fruit as clean. Whereas if you're a vegan, well then, <laughs> Like you think about how many of their um, you know, raw desserts and stuff like that are loaded with dates and nuts, right? So Keto Club, obviously, well, what they wouldn't classify as clean slash, uh, well, you know. This is where we're at so far with the uh, big ass granola and nut bowl um, with the uh, dried fruit. I'll tell you what, that, that's uh, pretty hard to choose some of that, but I'm gonna finish off the Sausage roll, the avocado now while it's still a little bit hot, and then uh, yeah, we'll have to polish the rest of this off um, as we go along. Oh, let's get it. Something that they're gonna eat is something that has carbs, right? And they're gonna demonize a shitload of different um, fruits and stuff like that because they have carbs. So it's like, no, you would have seen, right? Those sausage rolls from frozen, I think they take like 35 or 40 minutes to cook, right? Whereas uh, old mate me use my little Death Star, aka air fryer, and um, that only took 20 minutes on 180 and turned out absolutely perfect. So, life hack right there for you. The, the, the version of um, what clean eating is is different from camp to camp, it's different from person to person. Probably just like how your perception of what health means to you would be probably pretty different to mine and probably pretty different to your best mates and also your mum will probably have a different perception of what it means to be healthy as well. So this is why when it comes to any sort of meal plan or diet or whatever you're considering, or it might be a product or something like that, that says that it's clean. Um, like it's just literally that, it's just a dumb last part of the sausage roll to go. Fucking label or buzzword, similar to when you see anything that's labeled with skinny or shred or burn or you know that sort of thing, it's just clever marketing and all that is is just targeting to what they know that you want to see um, and then obviously they don't give you what you need. Uh, what you need is what the sort of stuff you see me teaching, aka you learning. Bring on this one stuff. What actually matters? Learning how to make food work for you. Learning how to just not be a follower and to actually, well, prioritize the stuff that's going to help you control how you look, how you feel, and how you function. And what that all boils down to is just learning how to make calories and everything work for you. So when it comes to this sort of stuff, if this is new to you, I'd highly encourage you to check out the description below of this video and you'll see various ebooks that will help you out in those sort of avenues, um, whether it be social eating and tracking calories and macros while traveling, or whether it just be even understanding macros at all in general. Um, I've got ebooks that can help you out in any sort of scenario, right from, you know, you could potentially be someone who is a uh, reformed hashtag clean eater or you just know how to eat hashtag healthy and you don't have a clue about flexible dieting and macronutrients and what protein and fats and uh, carbohydrates are or you could be someone that's been in the flexible dieting game for a while looking to level up either way check out what's going on below in the comments and um, what's going on in the description as well um, it'll help you to be able to just take your understanding to the next level and to be able to be mastering the game like you see me doing um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. This is it for the voiceovers. 
Um, obviously when it comes to these, it's just a means to be able to, rather than just having heaps of tunes cranking in the time lapse sections, I thought, hey, let's make it a little bit more valuable, given that uh, a lot of the time when, you, when I post up uh, hashtag cheat day related videos, a lot of you, um, newbies and stuff. So boys and girls, what I'm gonna do is I've gotten about, about halfway, probably about just over halfway of this. What I'm gonna do, I have no idea. chug it down. So I'll see you back here in just a tick once I've metamorphosized this into a big ass chunky smoothie. So here we have the remainder of all that nuts and granola and all that sort of stuff and I added um, approximately that 200 grams worth of blueberries, 150 grams of banana and some water. So um, I didn't actually track the blueberries and the banana to the totals of today. So that way it keeps you haters at bay that think that because um, someone, you know, drinks something that's cheating or whatever, right? So it's like, this is still a massive liquid that I've got to get down and sustain and hold and digest in my stomach, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. Time to chug this, let's get stuck into it. So thick. haven't actually you know, um, seen much content from me before or any, so I want you guys to know that yes, I am a Yoda and wizard, and uh, the whole game that is fat loss, I've been coaching men and women to be able to master the game of looking great naked and performing like absolute champions since 2011, so um, yeah, stick around for more videos, always new ones in the works, um, I am to pump out one to two a week, so if you're loving this video so far, I uh, highly suggest you watch it to the end, and I'll see you Oh, it's old mate Sheila Booth from our Transformers. So added in a bit of extra water so that it actually is like a smoothie rather than just, you know, the texture of like a smoothie bowl or whatever, right? Where it's just like all chunky and whatever. So it's actually somewhat liquid now. So chuggable. Let's keep the, uh, let's keep it going. Jones movie, which I didn't actually know existed. I thought I only did three, but um, it's not too bad. Worth a watch if you've got Netflix, by the way. You ever had those uh, moments where you kind of just sit there, zone out, and ponder your own existence? Like, that's pretty much of the jit scenario here. I've been staring at this little bit of smoothie for probably about a good five minutes, I'd say. And just 
try to not spew, I guess, because obviously in this challenge, if you spew, that's it, you're done. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm so full, it's ridiculous. We got this, we've got this YouTube channel, we've got this, we've got this, yes. Oh. Done. Down. Two of the cargoes down. Full carton of the cream. Half a jar or half a pack, whatever, of the coconut cream and that big ass stuff that you saw before. So I'll see you guys at the next meal. So, a significant amount of time has elapsed since the mother of all feeds earlier on today. It is currently, let me just fire up my phone. It is currently 5.42 on the rock clock on Monday. And apparently I haven't updated, backed up my phone <laughs> in, uh, in 12 weeks. But um, anyway, like seriously, I am, um, I pretty much died this afternoon, let's just say that, and um, got to experience firsthand what depression feels like, and I know that if I push this anymore, I'm literally going to kill myself. And this is a <laughs> an anti-suicide channel, we do not want that, but um, yeah, so it's like, I, I literally had so much shit that I bought for this challenge, like, look at this receipt from Woolworths, like, do you see that? Just like. Look at all this shit and look at that total. See that? Like, I literally spent 90 bucks at Woolworths buying all this cool shit, being so pumped for just like eating all sorts of cool different shit throughout the day. But I fucked it up. How I fucked it up was by just eating with my eyes and I'm um, going, oh yeah, this would be easy, eating this much in one hit. And as you would have seen, I pretty much did the challenge in one meal. Um, <laughs> and as a result of eating way too much food in one sitting, um, I like literally this afternoon, like couldn't even do any dishes, felt like vomiting and I was like, nah, if I vomit, that's it. I failed this challenge, nah, nah, I'm just gonna go lie down. And I literally lied down um, and then fell asleep while watching Slumdog Millionaire. Like it started off when he was little and then all of a sudden he's old and on, <laughs> Uh, who wants to be a millionaire or whatever and um, trying to hunt down the chick that he's after and uh, then I had a quick coaching call and then went back to sleep again on the recliner couch uh, and woke up from it just after five like it literally wrecked me so um, yeah like look at some of this shit that I had um, that I bought like I had uh, this free from gluten vegan cheesecake um, I bought some uh, Hashtag clean, um, ricotta and spinach ravioli. Um, I bought some grass fed organic pulled brisket, 100% Australian beef patties. Um, as you can see, I got them on mega special, so hashtag bargains. I um, bought these chips, which are 100% natural um, from Old Mate's Kettle. As you can see there, baked, not fried. Uh, they use corn, whatever. Uh, these are actually some of the most loaded chips you can find. Um, with that beef, I was gonna do like a, uh, a pine nuts with pesto um, you know, dish. Um, because when it comes to pesto and pine nuts, these things are fucking loaded, seriously. Like 100 grams of these little pine nuts, right? Has 721 calories. Is crazy so like if you eat this whole bag this 180 um, grand bag like that's you well and truly about 1500 calories hectic i bought um this blueberry and oats oats bar thing um this
this sucker here I always eye off but never really buy because well they've got a lot of calories and um, <clears throat> like yeah they don't really fill you up but in this sort of case I thought hey why not I bought these chocolate nut bars as well um, I bought this uh, dark chocolate and almond high protein bar because hashtag protein synthesis yo um, in terms of well getting in those protein gains uh, it's even got a five star health rating believe it or not uh, I bought some suitable for vegetarians um, high protein Mexican inspired cheese um, which I was going to use as part of dinner as well so I basically had all this you know shit ready to rock and roll um, you know to eat lots of meals but literally it's like I could push to kind of like whip up some more shit but it's like I know that I'm going to spew if I do that like I know that I still have so much undigested food in my system um, I feel horrendous and literally, as I said before like if I eat some more food I fear that I may end up killing myself <laughs> so technically I've beaten the challenge the challenge was to be able to consume 10,000 calories um, of you know hashtag clean hashtag healthy considered food and well I did that and in one meal it was fucking hard um, but hey it is done so um, you know yay <laughs> so obviously the video didn't go quite to plan um, but you know hey like the whole intention of this is just to get that trophy really because there's very few people on YouTube that have actually done the well 10,000 calories hashtag clean challenge and now your boy is officially one of them so now with that in mind basically my evening now is going to consist of well, finding space for this shit in the fridge um, and thinking of ideas of how I want to use it during the week so if you follow me on social media you'll get to see how I use them and what goes on and whatever the plan from here is to basically well yeah, not eat anything for the rest of the day as you can imagine um, after I film this outro I'm basically just gonna go for a shower and probably get back to bed I reckon um, because I'm just wrecked but um, yeah the editing game will be strong with me tomorrow to get this video out for you guys after the reverse dieting video that I still need to edit so uh, make sure you go and check that out if you want to learn about reverse dieting um, and then this one will come out on probably Thursday or Friday give or take hopefully probably Friday because it's gonna take a while to edit but um, <laughs> seriously like what a day like it just threw me for a six um, fucked me well good I got shafted like but then hey I did it so that's the main thing right so please do me a favor if you're new to the channel obviously with this headline being 10,000 calories and whatever it brings all sorts of different people that are interested in food so I'd highly encourage you that if you love food and well just you know love all things that is flexible dieting and want to learn some cool shit and um, share my journey highly encourage you to subscribe uh, whereas if you're a returning subscriber drop a comment below <laughs> let me know your feedback and uh, let me know what you like in this video um, and uh, basically like my tips if you were to do this um, is to buy all your shit the day before um, because obviously with me I bought it late morning and started very late which meant that yeah I pretty much ate all this middle of the day so if I was to do this again and go back in time back in time um, what I'd probably do differently is to buy all my shit the day before um, get up nice and early get a workout in and start my first meal really early probably about six or seven so that way I can sp like get in a lot of calories not to the point of feeling sick and just ridiculous like what I did today but just very full get in a few K or so um, not eat anything until lunchtime get in another three or so K calories or whatever um, and then you know probably go for a walk and that sort of thing and then finish up with like a late arvo slash evening feed and then that's the calorie challenge done um, it did help in the morning to, like, I guess, keep my liquids high in terms of water and having done 10,000 steps already. So obviously, if I was to go back in time, well, you know, I'd make sure that I'd get my workout, my steps in. So hopefully that helps you if you're considering the 10,000 calorie challenge. Um, obviously, I have done the normal 10,000 calorie challenge in the past before. That was hard. Um, yeah, this one here was done in one meal and it was just ridiculous. <laughs> But um, yeah, it is what it is. So thank you so much once again for watching. I uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media links below. And uh, if you can check out any of my eBooks and gain some fucking sick insight in terms of just my evidence-based, non-conventional um, approach to fat loss and just living a healthy lifestyle. Um, there's lots of stuff you can be checking out below. Obviously, I don't eat like this all the time. Like tomorrow, I'll probably be fasting for the bulk of the day and then just getting in some fucking salad and high volume nutritious food and being 
like a mad deficit just to allow my body to have the break from all this food and to digest it all before I go back to probably about maintenance intake and cruise along with the rest of the day from there. So the cool thing is about understanding how calories work and whatever, you can quite easily um, you know, have days like this, cheat days, whatever, and still keep optimal health when you know how and if you have a good relationship with food. So please, if you have any questions around this matter, drop them below. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time in the tubes. Peace out.